and I shall be taking you through another simple tutorial on how to add your property on the platform. You shall be required to have registered on the platform. In case you have not registered, kindly click on the link above to be navigated to the registration and login tutorial. Upon registration on the platform, all your properties shall not automatically appear under your account until you do this process. Kindly log in. You have been directed to your dashboard. To add your property, kindly click on my properties button on the left side panel. Immediately, the system navigates you to the properties list view. If you do not have any existing property, a pop-up will appear requesting you to add your property. In case you have an existing property, the pop-up will not appear, hence you will be required to click on add property button on the top right corner. Note, another user, e.g. an advocate, can add a property on your behalf. Every proprietor or administrator must be registered on the platform for you to add the property on their behalf. Once you click on add property, you will be navigated to the add property form. Enter your parcel number or title number, select the holding type which could be one sole proprietor if you are the only owner on that parcel, joint proprietorship, this is where a parcel is owned by several individuals without any specification of what proportion they own. Proprietorship in common, this is where the parcel is owned by two or more individuals with distinct proportions. Select the category of proprietor, which is either an individual or company, and add the proprietor using their ID number or registration number in case it's a company. If you are making this application on behalf of the proprietor, you will enter their ID number or registration number. In a case where the proprietor is a trustee, provide the names of the beneficiaries. If you are an administrator, kindly provide the name of the deceased. Once you do so, click on Next. The next button navigates you to the property details page, where you select the property type which could either be leasehold parcel, freehold parcel, sublease, which is a long-term lease, or sectional property. The next step is land rent details. This is an optional step which will be required to provide any land receipt, if any, on the said property. Enter the details of the receipt and upload the same by clicking on the Choose File button and then clicking on Add Receipt. The system will accept a maximum of five most recent receipts. Then upload a scanned copy of your original certificate of title or lease. The next page will allow you to add any additional documents that will support your claim. This is done by entering the name of the document to be uploaded in order to activate the Choose File button. This is not a mandatory field. If you do not have any additional documents, click on Next. We are now on the last page. It displays a summary of the information you provided in order to confirm the details. Click on Submit if all the information is accurate. The system will thereafter prompt you to confirm your submission. Upon confirmation, it notifies you as the owner or proprietor to wait for verification from the ministry so as to start transacting with the confirmed parcel. This is a rigorous verification process conducted by the ministry to ensure that the ownership documents and information provided tallies with the information held by the ministry. You will get notified after the verification process as to whether your application has been accepted, rejected or returned. So let us take a look at the feedback we got after we made our applications. Kindly click on the bell button. This is where your notifications are located and click on see all notifications. So as you can see the first one here, your parcel verification has been rejected. Check the remarks for details. Once you see this notification, click on it. As you can see, the remarks have been stated here. It states that the ministry records do not match the records attached. So all in all, a rejection is warranted when the information provided does not match with the information held by the ministry. So let us look at the other notifications as well. Your parcel verification for this parcel has been returned to you. Check remarks for details on actions. When your application is returned, it means that some of the details in the application need clarification. So click on application details to see the remarks. So the remark reads, the name indicated on the document does not match the names used to register on the system. Kindly note, an affidavit is shown where there is a variation between the names in your identity documents and other official documents or certificates. This affidavit confirms that the names refer to the same person. 
Ensure you acquire the same and attach on the documents section. Let's check on the last notification. So your parcel verification is successful. You can now transact with it in the system. As you can see, the status bar is at 100%. Your property has been verified. You can now access its details using my property's link in the navigation. So this is the property that was successful with reference to the verification process and the details attached to it. Now I am free to transact with it. I hope this tutorial has made things a bit more clear for you. In case you have any more inquiries, kindly reach out to the customer service center. They shall be happy to assist you with any of your concerns. Thank you for watching. Kindly like, share and subscribe so that we can be able to reach as many people as possible. Thank you.